But today I want us to talk about the daily practices that you should always do at your farm that help you to perform well, uh, to get higher percentages of production at your farm, and also that always help you to avoid diseases. Hey friends, welcome back to this channel. I'm really so, so excited and I'm glad that we are here again because it's really been so long. My chicken which we were raising, you remember this chicken? I want to tell you that uh, during this time that we have been quiet, they started laying eggs. And right now I want to tell you that we are on 10% and I'm going to take you and we see what we are, how we are doing. But today I want us to talk about the daily practices at your farm that, uh, that help you to get higher percentages at your farm and that also help you to avoid diseases. Remember, when you have the higher product, higher percentages of production, it means money. And then also, if you're not uh, being attacked by diseases, it means that you're not going to spend on uh, buying antibiotics, uh, buying medicine, which means your expenses are going to stay in your meal. So, before we go to this chicken house uh, where the bird started laying because we are going to take you there and we see what is happening. Let me first take you to this uh, bird. Remember I have a flock uh, which started laying long time. So let me first take you inside and we see how those birds are doing and we see what we are doing to maintain them to always uh, lay eggs at a higher percentage. So let me just take you inside. Hmm. We are inside the chicken house. This chicken house, I'm having 800 bucks. And as you can see, the, this part, this upper part here, and even this, uh, this part, the chicken are congested. So, what we have done in this chicken house, I was getting 80% of production. So, which means that the 20% were not laying. And at this stage, these birds started laying in December, and here we are in April, uh, which means the birds have just started laying. And if they give you 80%, it means that that is not how it is supposed to be. So which means that you have to do something in order to make sure that these birds are laying at least 90%. So this is what we have done. Uh, you must be wondering why there is this tarpaulin, this blue tarpaulin. So what we did, uh, we... We separated the birds which are laying. Uh, these are the birds uh, which are laying this side. And this other side, uh, we separated this chicken house. And these birds which are the other extreme end, uh, those birds do not lay. And they don't really lay. For example, yesterday I got only one egg from this, from this part from this chicken which are put in this side. You separate uh, the birds which are not laying from your birds which are laying. So what you do, these other birds, uh, you give them special care. At this point, we are supposed to be getting 90%. So what we do, you give special care to these other birds uh, which do not lay. You give them special care. Even when they are in this space and they are getting enough aeration, it can also help them to lay. And then another thing, uh, when they are there, when they are mixed with these other birds, it means that uh, uh, the weaker birds may not 
are fed at the, t at the same time with the, uh, these strong buds. So when you put them in the other space uh, where they are having enough space, uh, which means they are eating in time, they are getting enough feed. And if it means uh, also changing their feed and you put them on grower feed, if it means that you also do it, but you make sure that even these birds are laying. So when you do that, uh, you're trying to make sure that you're having higher percentages of production at your farm, and which means that you're, what you're doing, you know it. Uh, if you just put the quantities which you have been putting, and then these other birds do not lay, it means that you will be losing in in, uh, in feeding these chickens which are not giving you eggs. And I hope you're seeing those bottles, uh, those bottles which you're seeing. Uh, they are that bottle which has a purple uh, label, that one. We are having paraffin in there because one time we found uh, a snake in this chicken house. So that paraffin test is a wet snake. So if, so if you have a problem of snakes at your farm, you just put paraffin in bottles and then you open, uh, you put holes on their covers and then you put, uh, you surround your chicken house. The snakes will run away because they do not like that smell of the paraffin. The other chicken house uh, where they are our girls have just started laying uh, but then another thing that you have to know you have to make sure that you maintain cleanliness inside the chicken house and also you make sure that your exterior that is outside your chicken house is very clean uh, so as you can see here uh, what we have done in order to maintain the cleanliness because here uh, here in my country right now it's a rainy season so we decided to plant the vegetables so here this is the bed for popo for popos um uh, in one of my videos we talked about how important the popo popo leaves and then popo seeds how important they are so this is the nursery bed for popos so we want to uh, fill the whole of this garden with purple trees of purple. Already we have uh, this purple tree, this one which you're seeing here. Uh, we have another one which is there, it has uh, the fruits already. And we also have uh, another one in the extreme end. So what you can see here, we have planted a maize, and this maize is not for feeding the chicken, for us here to consume. And then we have uh, the spinach, here down as you can see uh, we also planted the the eggplant uh, it is here you can see here it's coming out uh, we also have there so we planted all these vegetables here in order to keep the exterior of our farm uh, the outside of the chicken houses very clean and then you see uh, that yam those yam leaves here we have our local chicken and we we use those leaves to feed the chicken, the local chicken, because they like it so much and they give us a yellow yolk egg. So we have planted all these things here in this garden in order to make sure that this place is kept clean and neat. And it also brings the green part and which, which looks so beautiful. So let's just go inside the chicken house. Uh, these birds, these dogs have just started laying. So let me first take you inside and we see. So we are already inside the chicken house. And 
I came to like this bird. They really look so well. Just take a, just have a look at them. Their combs have grown so well. They just look beautiful. I just love, I just even like coming inside here and keep looking at this bird. telling you you must keep your chicken house very clean i want to tell you that as i'm standing here there is totally zero smell you can just have a look down it's very clean and the feathers we have clean uh, remember when they are beginning to lay the feathers are already so much so you have to make sure that you clean and reduce them so here in this chicken house it's very clean there is no smell, actually you can give me food here and I start it. So, it means that the environment for these girls, yes, I call them girls who have just started laying, giving us eggs. So, their environment is so conducive for them to give us lay, to give us eggs. They started laying at 18 and 3 days, 18 weeks and 3 days. Right now, we are on the total of and we are at 10 percent so uh right now uh, it is in the afternoon and the and most of the eggs are already collected so here i have an egg uh most of the eggs are collected in the morning and what you have to do you have to make sure that you wake up very early and put your feed and then put light that way it helps you to it helps you to collect most of your eggs in the morning. And then uh, the practice is what you should do to make sure that these birds are not getting sick. Because like right now, if these birds can get sick, first of all, they stop laying, and then you spend a lot of money to treat these birds. So one thing that you have to do, you have to make sure that you deworm and vaccinate um, in time and also practice giving a rovera and uh, popoli and uh, choco and uh, all those red peppers practice make sure that you get used to giving those things to your bird for example you can give a rovera and popo you can decide to give twice a week you give them to your bird And then another thing that you can decide to do, uh, you see like this jerrican here, uh, like one day you decide and you put red pepper in that. A red pepper, you can get your red pepper and then uh, you make it in powder form. And then because you see this chicken house is very big, it's so big, so you decide in a day and you give red pepper in two jerricans, just put uh, your red pepper in like this jerrican, this one here, and then another one in the extreme corner, and you give a red pepper. So each chicken that is going to feed on that, to drink on that uh, red pepper, it is going to be resistant to diseases like cough and flu, and that disease is so dangerous, it makes, it makes you spend a lot of money to treat it, and the chicken also uh, reduce on production. And then another thing, uh, also charcoal. For charcoal, you make sure that you're giving it in your feed. Uh, you mix charcoal in your feed. And then uh, on another day, you can decide, uh, you put the same way we have done uh, with red pepper, you also decide to administer charcoal like that way. You put in two jerrycans and then put in this chicken house. The birds are going to keep feeding it. And the benefits of charcoal are so huge uh, to these birds. Thank you so much for watching this video and thank you so much for you have supported me. I can't take that for granted. And I hope that whatever that we are talking about, 
uh, you're putting it into practice at your own farm. Uh, please share with me your experience at your own farm, especially about the things that we have talked about. Uh, also, you can share with me what you're doing at your own farm. Uh, I think that I can also be able to learn from you. So thank you so much for watching me. Bye bye. Let me see you in my next video. A heart speed to the city streets. We begin to feel the fire. We rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher. The night's young. It has just begun as she puts her hand in mine. We wanna chase the night.